Now, let's keep on going with the word problems here. We're not going to take a break tonight if you're waiting for that. We're just going to dismiss, oh, we're just gonna dismiss a little bit early. No, we haven't took a break. I kind of took a break a little bit earlier. Oh, we're done at 830. We're out of here. Ye. What? Yeah. Ye. There we go. Number one. <laughs> Pearl earns $15 per hour. Okay, so, so everything we did up until now, these are those are the skill work. Now we're going to the word problem work. Okay? Pearl earns $15 per hour. She gets time and a half when uh, he or should be she works over eight hours in a work day and double time for any hours worked on weekends. What percent of Pearl's total salary is premium pay over time and double time? Okay, so what's the first two things we got to do before every word problem? Identify. Number one, identify. What's the second thing we do? Uh, state your path. State your path. Identify the question is simply saying what is the question we're being asked. State your path is simply saying with the information we've been given, how do we get back to that answer? So they say what percent of Pearl's total salary? So right away, just because of that question, what am I going to write here? Percent sign. Percent. We're looking for a number and a percent, because they say what percent of Pearl's total salary is premium pay, okay? So if we want to know the percent of Pearl's total salary that's premium pay, we need to know a few pieces of information here, don't we? Yes. We need to know her total pay. We need to know her premium pay. Okay, so we're stating our path. You see how this works? So if we're going to find out what percent of her pay is premium, we need to know the total pay, and then we need to know the premium pay, okay? Now, then how are we going to use the premium pay and the total pay to find out the percent premium is of total? Well, we're going to go to our old friend conversions, and we're going to take premium pay, and divide that by total pay, and that's going to give us the percent premium of total pay. Are you with me? This is how you state your path. So you kind of put a map out for yourself so you know what you're doing so you don't get lost as you're going along. Now, total pay. So she makes $15 for every regular hour she works. You can look at the chart there and clearly see she's worked over 40 hours a week. Okay? 61 hours. 61 hours. Thank you. Okay? So if 40 hours are regular, we're going to say $15 times 40. That's going to give us her uh, regular pay. How many overtime hours does she work? Anybody? Hours. Huh? 21 hours. But, but uh, or, or, or how many overtime hours? 21 hours. But she got 61 total. Right, but, there's, but, there, but her overtime is separate from her double time. See what I mean? So how many overtime hours does she work? Overtime is what? Half of, so it's four hours, right? Overtime, then it goes into double time? Well, you're on the right track. So, so back up. So overtime, so if, if she makes 15 an hour, how much is her overtime rate? Half of that. Time and a half. It's half time and a half. Yeah, time and a half. Exactly. So what's time and a half? 22.5. 22.5, mm -hmm. right? Because what's half of 15? 7.5. 7.5. So you add the 7.5 to the hourly. Man, I'd love to have some of you work for me. I'd be like, yeah, I paid you overtime. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so time and a half, right? Yeah. How do we find that? We're going to look at Monday. Monday is 8.5, so that's five hours overtime. Look at Tuesday, 8.25, so that's plus 2.5 hours overtime. We look at Wednesday, that's 10 and a half hours, so that's plus 2.5 hours overtime. We look at Thursday, that's 13.25. So that's 5.25. You know, we're just going over 8. Anything over 8 is overtime. Uh, then we go to Friday, 16.25. That's 8.25. So then we're going to add up all that because that's overtime. This is all overtime here, right? Yeah. I got 22.5 out. I'm not sure if that's correct. Not Let's check it. 0.5 plus 0.25 plus. 
2.5 plus 5.25 plus 8.25, oh. I get 16.75. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Rodolfo said that the total premium pay was 21 hours. So now I know that's correct because on Saturday, that's totally double time because it says any weekend hours is double time. So double time, so what's double of 15? 30. 30. Okay. So 30 times 4.25. Okay, so let's get the total. 15 times 40 mm -hmm. is 600. 2250 times 16.75 is 376.875, so we're just going to say 0.88. And then 30 times 4.25 is 127.50. Now we're going to add all those together for the total. 600 plus 376.88 plus 127.50 equals 1,104.38. So that's the total pay. You see why you got to break all this up and state your path? Oh, yeah. All right, now you're not going to see many problems like this in the GED test, but you're going to see a couple that have a bunch of steps in it, okay? This is good practice for that because now you get used to breaking it down. So now, but, but, see, but see, now we're not confused because we know we're only at this, at this portion. Now, her premium pay. So now, premium is easy. All we gotta do is add up the premium. 3.76, 0.88, plus 127.5. The premium pay is uh, 504.38. Okay? Does that make sense? It does. So we added up everything, that's the total. Then we added up the premium. That's 504.38. Now we go to, we've already set it up, the premium pay, 504. The total pay, 1,104. We leave the decimals out. Okay. 504 divided by 1104 equals what? Point four five six. Okay, so we're gonna that six is gonna do what to the five? Round up. It's gonna round it up. So we got point four six, and then we have to convert that to a percent. One, two, Move it over two spaces to the right. Forty six percent. Forty six percent. 